Bonjour, bienvenue. I've just been to my shopping today and I thought it would be a good idea to show you what I've bought. And uh, this is it. So I, what I want to do now is to show you how I made food or how I'm going to make food out of them. So like some of you will say, oh, I don't know what to make. I don't know what to make. I don't know what to buy. Well, I'll show you how I will uh, normally make. I, I cook in batches, you know, I, I cook a lot at, at one go. So it, save, it saves me the time from uh, uh, cooking every now and then. And also it's quicker. So what I will normally do is uh, I will, uh, first of all, I start with my onion. Yeah, I will uh, chop it and uh, saute it with a little bit of uh, water. Yeah, and then uh, add garlic, grate garlic into the onion. And again, uh, peppers and uh, tomatoes. Sometimes I just blend them, both of them and cook them until they, it reduces the, the liquid in, the, in them. Other times I will just chop it and then uh, throw it inside the onion and, and garlic uh, and then bring it up and uh, bring them up together and then uh, spice it. You, you know how I don't joke with the spices because they are full of uh, nutritious value. So I, I, I tend to put them a lot. Okay, so now, so we have covered onion, garlic, pepper, um, tomatoes. So then the next thing will be these fresh vegetables. And you see, we call this green in Nigeria. But the other green vegetables we do, you can put kale. But I normally use kale for my uh, salad. But not, nothing stops you from using them. So, as you can see, I've got plenty of them. So I cook a lot, a lot of, uh, I make a lot of sauce out of these. And then uh, portion them, you know, like, for, to last me for uh, weeks, or at least a week. Okay, so, another thing I uh, tend to do to to uh, maximize my time, to free time during the week. It's again, because I've got these peppers a lot. Apart from the one you are seeing here, <laughs> uh, there's another box that I've not opened. So I will sometimes uh, oven bake them. So they are soft and moist and very sweet. And what I do with them, beans. Like uh, different types of beans, it can be these brown beans, chickpeas, lentils, kidney beans. So you play with your choice. It, it doesn't matter which one you prefer. So long as you are eating plenty of them, because uh, they are they are wonderful. I don't need to go over them. I've covered them in uh, other sessions that I've conducted. Okay, so well, you might be saying again. Okay, let's con conclude this. Uh, a vegetable sauce. So having made the vegetable sauce, what, have I, what, what am I going to eat, eat with them? Yam is an option. If you prefer, you can eat it with a plantain, which I haven't got here. But also potatoes. And if you want to make it eat light, you can bake aubergine in the oven or just say uh, steam cook it. Okay. But well, you might well say, oh, I'm a diabetic. I can't uh, stand the carbohydrate. Well, can I just cover something a little bit about carbohydrate? You see, carbohydrate is not, it's not the enemy. It is the enemy if it is processed. If we're talking about donut and uh, pizza and uh, all the ultra processed food, yes, that's where they come in. But if you are, if you are, if you are already diabetic, my uh, advice, well, based on uh, what I heard from uh, Dr. Neil Barnard, he said he covered a very important uh, section and he said to people listening that there's an important slide that he wants everybody to, to master. And that's what I want to tell you about. He showed us uh, a circle. If you are diabetic, what is uh, making you diabetic? 
is because of excess saturated fat inside your cells so but when you get that excess fat out then your body is ready to welcome glucose and can I, let me just say, go back a little bit to start you see when you eat food it's broken down into simple glucose and that glucose needs to go to your cell but it cannot go by itself so the pancreas will, uh, be re will release insulin because insulin is a hormone it will take the glucose it will um, help the glucose to go to your cell but if you already have too much fats inside you it's not going to be allowed in and that's when your blood glucose starts to rise up so what Dr. Neil Barnard and other doctors it's not just Neil Barnard um, Dr. William Lee, Dr. Michael Greger, Dr. Joe Fairman they're all just saying the same thing why? because they're medical doctors they don't treat their patients with type 2 diabetes with med medication they tell them simply what I'm telling you now they're, they're used to, but they've learned better because, uh, as you know, science is not static. Especially Dr. Joe Furman, he said, I'll, I'll read it exactly how he wrote it in his book. If you have this book, look at page 140. He said, Remember those four basic foods group charts we were taught in, in classroom in elementary school. Protein ha it's, uh, had its own. Um, box designated by a thick steak, a whole fish and an entire chicken. Their foods had their own special box as well, a healthy diet we were taught, supposed, supposedly centered on meat and, and milk. Protein was thought to be the most favorable of all nutrients and loss of uh, protein was thought to be the key to strength, health, and vigor. Unfortunately, cancer rates soared. As a result of scientific investigations, why the, the cancer rate soared, we had to rethink what we were taught in primary school. So old habits die hard. So, but, and he said, don't cling into what you are taught as, a, as children. Don't hold on to it because now, Science, they've investigated the cause of uh, this exponential growth of disease. And they're now uh, pointing at excessive uh, intake of animal products. He said it, not me. So he, he also said that, yes, we need protein, but we get all the proteins from this. These green leafy vegetables, they are full of, uh, you, you, they are full of calcium, they are full of protein. In fact, can I just tell you something? You see, broccoli has more, it has 11 grams of uh, protein, while a steak from meat, from beef, has 6 grams per, per 100 calories. So broccoli, I've never thought that, I've never imagined. What he said he, he learned from primary school is also what I learned, that you get your protein from meat. So if you are thinking oh i need my meat for protein you have to think again because this is science now i'm talking not me going back to uh, type 2 diabetes these guys are saying if you have type 2 diabetes particularly if you've not had it for that long because if you've had it for last uh, for very long time chances are that your beta cells uh, may have been destroyed so but if if you if you are new that is like 10 years or under um, being diagnosed with a type 2 diabetes you owe it to yourself to, to to not reverse it because science is now saying it is possible it is good news if i were you i would be rejoicing i will welcome the new the new solution because when you eat green vegetables like i said excess fat in your cells is not allowing glucose to come in so you flush it out with green grains you, you flush them out with all this and once your body um neil bernard I, I, i'll tell you the analogy analogy he used he said imagine your keyhole being blocked with a with a um a chewing gum so that's what it's like inside your cell 
something is blocking your your cell keyhole so and the keyhole if once you take the chewing gum well in the in case of a human beings is the excess too much fat we are eating too much saturated. it doesn't matter if you take the skin off from chicken this I, I'm telling you exactly how I heard it from them it's not me I used to I used to be a victim myself I used to think oh if I take the um, the back of the chicken off I, I should be okay no if you don't have problem with uh, if you don't have metabolic syndrome that is metabolic metabolic syndrome means you have three lifestyle diseases or more like you are obese you are you have high blood pressure you have uh, a type 2 diabetes you have a rheumatoid arthritis or you name them if you have three of them my best my what i can tell you from these guys you can read the book books yourself otherwise just trust what i'm telling you yes i'm not a medical doctor but i heard it from them they can't they can't all be telling lies so remove animal products from your food remove process ultra processed food from your from your diet from your food because they they give you excess saturated fats you don't want them when you get better when you correct your type 2 diabetes or high blood pressure if you like you can start eating the meat but for now get rid of them and eat this to flush to keep to bring back your digestive system in order to work but right now, if you have type 2 diabetes, it's not advisable to start eating bananas and then... Uh, yes, they are right in telling you not to eat carbohydrates like that or, or fruit. Because your digestive system is not working. So when you get them working, when you eliminate animal products from your diet, you get this, say for example, for one week, if you stop eating animal products and start eating this, for one week, then your digestive system will st start to come back in uh, to work normal. In that way, you can now start to introduce to eat bananas and other fruits and you know that your body weren't welcoming. So because and then guess what will happen again? Your mitochondria, your burner, will start to burn food. When you eat food now, it will metabolize. It, your metabolic your metabolism will be will be working efficiently. Now when you eat, it will everything will work in harmony. You know, you will you will burn food, you burn fat. So it's correcting type 2 diabetes, it's correcting the excess body weight. So you can you will see your body returning in good working order. So now it's up to you to see to start eating meat um, uh, gradually, you know, because if you go overboard it will come back. So for the fact that you, you reverse it doesn't give you license to start eating them excessively again. So now you can start eating them gradually. I think that's all I have to say. Please take advantage of what I'm telling you and uh, bring your health uh, back in uh, order. I think, what else can I say? You might not care, like uh, <laughs> Dr. Joe Furman said, um, some of you might be in this room thinking, oh, I will, instead of me to eat like this, I would rather die. I hope you're not thinking like that because it's not a good thing, especially if you have relatives and or family. It's not a good thing to, to be in a position where you create unnecessary uh, problem to others, where they will be carrying you up and down, looking after you, thinking about you. If you don't care about yourself, you care about people who you are going to subject into that suffering because it's just not fair. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.